Hi, my name is Anthony Cummins and we're part of the Historical Ninjutsu Research Team. What you're about to see is a time lapse of what a real ninja would look like back in feudal Japan. This guy's performing Innin, that is Night Infiltration, and it was painted by Leaves Den. And for more information, see the comments below. Now, we started off with a basic Tamiya model of a samurai, only a couple of inches tall, and we needed to convert it. So here you see the face mask. Now you won't need a normal, what you class as iconic face mask, because even though they did exist, it is not standard to the shinobi. So generally we've put it around its head to give it a more realistic feel of the time period. There you can see he's holding a gando lantern and a grappling hook, and he's now been put together in full. Now with everything in place, we need to do the basic base coat here. That's all black, of course, and we're going to start with the colours. Now, what people don't realise is that a ninja does not have a suit. Look at the clothes. If you think about it, he's just a samurai. That's it. He's got samurai clothes with a hood. That's all. Now, we've gone for blue pants here with a crimson jacket, which are both mentioned in the ninja manuals. All of the information here is taken from the ninja manuals. And you'll see that we've gone for a white underlay. We do know that some shinobi wore white underneath, or at least when they're on night raids. And here's a close-up of the feet with the straw sandals. And you'll see the gundo lantern and the grappling hook there getting ready to start being painted. Now, here we go. The, have you noticed how the cloth of the hood is indigo? That was a very popular colour at the time. A very easy colour to dye. Moving on to the base, we've coloured a stone here and of course it's just got a standard grass base there it is enjoying the grass so the colours do not matter so much when you are painting a ninja as long as you keep to red blue black or brown straw sandals of course part of it now as I said indigo is a very popular colour and this is called a tenagui a three foot cloth and it should go around the face now, in those ninja manuals, it says that you need to rub ink on your skin. So we did a tester of ink on the skin. And as you can see, we've put ink on the face. Now, we do know that a ninja would carry a grappling hook and they would need a straw rope. So you've got a grappling hook and straw rope. And there it is painted. The full shinobi, ready for his night mission. The lantern is actually a gimbal ring lantern that the light can be put out if you touch down. And there you go. If you're interested in historical ninja, please look for the book True Path of the Ninja. This is a translation of the Shoninki, or True Ninja Traditions, which is a translation of the Nimpiden. Both are historical ninja manuals.